Okay, tonight I checked out a new movie starring Jesse Metcalf from Desperate Housewives and Peter Stormare. He played Dino Velvet in 8mm. A movie called In Sanitarium. I picked this up as a blind buy at Big Lots for 3 bucks. Thought I'd give it a shot after I read the description on it. it sounded interesting. Why not, right? $3? I'll take a gamble for 3 bucks. And I gambled and I won because this was a really cool movie. Uh, it's about a guy named Jack whose sister is put in a mental institution. Um, he's trying to get information on her. He's trying to talk to her. He wants to get her out of there. They won't let him talk to her. So what he does is he cons his way into the mental institution to try to get her out, break her out, I guess. Uh, once inside, he realizes it's a lot harder to get out than he thought and finds out that the doctor, played by Peter Stormare, is using the patients as guinea pigs for a drug called orphium and what orphium does is it's supposed to strip away the layers of the conscious mind to the core so you can rebuild it and make them sane again what it is what it's doing instead it's making them into killers uh, cannibalistic killers actually they they crave blood and they crave flesh uh, it basically uh, reduces them down to their core element, their their reptilian stage. Uh, really, really cool story. Really awesome storyline. Uh, it has some really interesting characters in it as well. Uh, I have to say that I was, I was mildly surprised with how good the story was, how well it rolled. There were one or two little things in there that I could totally forgive uh, as far as just corny or just yeah, throwaway lines basically. Nothing, nothing real big. While he's in there, he he confronts a uh, serial killer who killed a bunch of girls, strangled a bunch of girls, and he's he's locked in there too. So they they front off every once in a while uh, with each other. But bottom line, the whole story, the whole thing about him trying to get his sister out and having to deal with uh, being experimented on. Uh, it's it's really it's it's really a compelling story, it really is. Uh, there are some scenes in there, as far as like gore is concerned, it's stable. It's it's a it's a not over the top. Uh, it it's ne they put it where it's necessary. Uh, there's a scene where one of the inmates finds a cat and rips its head off, and all the inmates start sharing it, start eating it and stuff. A um, couple of uh, stabbings, some uh, pretty vicious. Uh, dismemberments. Uh, guy breaks off a lady's arm, starts eating it, stuff like that, you know. But it's not one after another. It's not rapid fire gore scenes. It's it's put in. I don't want to say tastefully because it's you know it's not really tasteful, but it's it's put in. It's paced well. Let's just say that. So if you like movies having to deal with mental institutions, if you're a fan of like One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, but you want something with a little more oomph to it, a little more meat on the bone, uh, I give In Sanitarium a solid 3 out of 5. As far as the gore factor, again, 3 out of 5. Um, definitely check it out. And that leaves me down to one movie. Can't believe I'm still awake. So I'd like to take this time to say that this portion of my review is brought to you by Super Energy Jitter Beans. Well, you gotta keep going. You gotta go Jitter Bean. Come back soon and I'll have the final movie review. I may put one more review in there, sneak one in, and again it's one I don't own, but it's one I've seen enough times that I'm pretty sure I can review it without any problem. And Please check back in for the shout out video. Have one coming up. Have one coming up tonight. That's my dog again. Just can't stay away. Thanks. Talk to y'all soon.